Okay, I want to touch upon something I hope we, I think we've kind of touched upon it already, but I think it's important to stress is, is uh, the number of digits matter. If I have uh, a bank account that only requires two digits to store, I'm probably not in a very good good situation. But if my bank account requires eight digits to store, well, I'm probably in a much better situation. I'm probably a little more relaxed as far as my financial situation goes. And, and so the number of digits matter. But let's talk about what, what the digits can give us. The digits give us state, if you would. And, and what is state? If if you can think, uh, like, like if I come home from work and I see that my kids have played with all their toys and spread around the house, well, the current state of my house is that it it's in a mess, all right? And, and it's not like it's going to just, the mess will just disappear. We have to work pretty hard to change the state of my house to back to a clean state. Or what kind of state are you in? Maybe you've had a really hard day at work yourself and and so you come home and you're exhausted and that's the current state you're in but then maybe your significant other or some friends take you out and you go oh, uh, I don't know, get some ice cream or something that would put you in a better mood or in a better better state so so let, let's talk a little bit about state though that, that that same analogy applies to computer science and and with computers well I have been stressing this whole entire playlist they have bits and so the bit can either be off or the bit can be on. And what do we mean by that? There's not little elves inside your computer switching these light switches on and off. Basically, there's a charge of 5 volts or there's not a charge of 5 volts. And so so it's basically on or off or you have an electric charge and so on and so forth. There's state, if you would. Okay, The house is messy. The house is not messy. So on and so forth. But maybe if I wanted to... Let's uh, let's erase this. Maybe my house could have uh, uh, other states that are important to me. So let's say zero zero. All right, we'll say that is a house's clean state. Okay, and then let's say zero one. All right, if the bits are in this situation, well, the house is uh, slightly dirty. Okay, slightly messy. How about that? Slightly messy. Okay, and then. Uh, one zero, okay, more messy, more messy. I'll just write that out there. And then one one, it's a disaster. Okay, and you can see that I've used these bits here. I mean, I've sequentially counted as far as our decimal values go. Let's go in decimal zero one two three, and yeah. So on a on a range from zero to three, how messy is your house? And we could do that, but there's nothing forcing us to do that. We could just say, well, um, these states are. Uh, it wouldn't make too much sense in our human mind to do this, but we could easily do this. Do this. Uh, the computer doesn't care what states are mapped to what. The computer just deals with the ones and zeros. So let's let's say zero one is clean and um, one one is slightly slightly messy, and uh, zero zero is more messy, and then. Uh, what's left here? One zero. One zero is a disaster. It doesn't matter to the computer what what uh, values we use to s represent what states. That, that's that's arbitrary. Okay, it just so happens generally we do do them sequentially. Um, had opportunity to kind of teach this concept to my kids. My daughter brought in this toy that I, I'm not quite sure where she got it. Maybe Santa brought it. I'm, I can't remember, but it's the CD player here. Uh, quite annoying, yes, but I'll put up with it because my my daughter is the the family princess. It's this CD player here, and you put these CDs in it. Okay, let me erase this and zoom in a little bit. Well, upon closer examination, if you open this up, and I tried to get a picture of this thing open, maybe I should have gone the effort of taking one. But if you open this up, inside of it. There are three buttons, right? Button one, button two, button three. Okay, and then when you put the CD in, all these CDs, let's take Cinderella for example. Um, Cinderella on the other side of the CD, on the underside of this CD, would be a ring like so. And so when you would put the CD inside the CD player with the ring in the center here, it would depress or press down this button. And so that represents or that tells the CD player, hey, the Cinderella disc 
is installed, but the CD player doesn't care it's Cinderella. The CD player just says, oh, we're pushing this button that maps to these songs, so I'll play these songs, then you get the and I love you. Isn't that one of the Cinderella songs? I can't remember. I get confused. Anyway, and then Little Mermaid. I, I don't remember exactly what these CDs had. But let's say Little Mermaid had uh, a ring on the outside and a ring on the inside. Well, then that would push down with our buttons. I put our buttons back up, zero. Um, with Cinderella, that would push down this button and this button. And then... The CD player would, uh, not Cinderella, with Little Mermaid, the CD player would play the Little Mermaid songs. So I sat down with my son and I said, hey, how many states can we represent with three buttons? Because all these are binary values, right? They're either on or off. Let's say if we push them, they're on. And if we let them go, they're off, right? That, that kind of makes sense. And that's exactly how it works in the CD. I have to push it, and then that makes an electrical connection. All right, so how many states can I represent with with three bits, well, hopefully this makes sense. And you can think of it before I have to draw it out. In fact, pause the video and see if you can think of it if, if you need to. But let me write it here. We have three bits, zero, zero, zero. And then uh, I, I, I can do any combinations or permutations of, of these bits um, without counting sequentially. But it just so happens that counting sequentially is the easiest thing for us to do mentally. So zero, 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 one. 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is all the different uh, states or combinations of values I can have with three bits. Well, what is the, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, if we look at them as decimal values, but really, how many different states are there? There's there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 different states. So they ripped me off. They only gave us 4 CDs. They could have given us 8 CDs. And yes, it turns out that if I pushed combinations on the CD player that weren't represented by the disc that came with it, it would just not play anything, and I thought it was a rip-off. I was hoping for an Easter egg to find, you know, maybe I'd turn on uh, Mission Impossible, who knows. But they ripped me off. They could have had four more CDs in this pack. I want my money back. Anyway, I went through the exercise with my son. I can't remember which one, but we figured out which ones were Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast and Sleeping Beauty and so on and so forth. Hopefully I'm not violating any copyright laws talking about Disney because co everything Disney is copyright Disney and Disney has credit for Disney and it's all theirs, not mine. Disney, 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 they own their stuff. Hopefully that makes me legit.